This is not re reality. This is the real deal. 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 So how do you accomplish something you've never done before? I mean something big, like becoming a music star, producer, engineer, lawyer, executive, or anything else in life. Who holds the key to that kind of success in an ever-changing world of challenges? I learned my craft from trial and error and by embracing various mentors. I got the real deal on all I needed to know from those that had succeeded before me. I am Doug, and this is the real deal on the entertainment industry. Coming up! Entertainment attorney Ed Grauer, together we'll explore the real deal on their lives and their experiences. This is the real deal. 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 All righty, kiddies. Now that you've become rock stars, it's time to get your business in order. Here's Ed Grauer, entertainment attorney, defining the roles of managers and lawyers. This is the real deal. 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 The lawyer can act, can do similar things, and sometimes do, does similar things that managers, which is advise clients, um, artists, producers, on general sort of career strategic moves. But they can also do the specific legal work. You know, here's a contract that needs to be negotiated or here's things like that. And also what lawyers in the music business do, which doesn't really happen in, in, in other entertainment fields and certainly doesn't always happen in other general business situations, is they will actively go out and try to get deals happening for artists. So it's called shopping a deal. Is that someone that someone specializes? Well, some there there are there are attorneys who yeah I, I don't know if it's a specialty, but there are attorneys who do it well because they they keep up their relationships with the A and R guys who are which is an ever shifting uh, population. Um, given you know the what's happening with the, the labels and the consolidation and new you know people getting fired and new people coming on, so you have to be really up on who's who and who can make decisions and who really can't. And then there are attorneys that really don't do that, and they only handle artists that have deals or are established. Do those guys end up being the kind that sort of end up managing sometimes and not? No, I think that when someone ends up becoming a manager, take on that role, it's probably one that where they've nurtured the client, the artist, for a long time. Um, I think that that's what happened with Britney Spears and Larry Rudolph. Which they're no longer together, right? No, they're not. But he was, you know, was working with her and got her the deal and was co-managing her with Johnny Wright, who also managed NSYNC at the time. And and then it really that became his full-time job because she was, you know, obviously a superstar. So he he stopped practicing law and 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 you know managing Britney and a couple of other artists was was his full time. So when is the best time and the best method in picking an attorney? If you don't need an attorney to shop, then you should you don't really need an attorney until you actually have a deal on the table. There's no reason to pay to call someone up and start the clock running, especially if they're a uh, hourly attorney and you know have to pay a retainer until there's actually a deal. And if there's a deal on the table, trust me, you can you can have your pick. <laughs> yeah. If you want a shopping attorney, then at the same time that you're showcasing around town, you might want to call, you know, ask around and see who are the shopping attorneys in New York, like if you're in New York, and you would start trying to invite them down to your show, send them your, your demo, just like you would send a label. And would you say that there's a strategy to picking attorney, even if you know, let's say you're signing to Columbia or whatever, you know, label X, would it behoove someone to do some investigating to see who has good relationships there or do you think that that really think, doesn't make a well, difference? Well, I think the business is, I mean, that's, it's okay, but I think the business is, is, is small enough that, I mean, I have relationships in business affairs departments with every everyone at every label and especially given that the labels are consolidating so much, there's <laughs> so only like three, three or four. <laughs> so, I, I mean, uh, you know, it's like I've dealt with over the years whether they were at one time, they were at other firms and now or they were at one label, now they're at another label. And so I think that's true for most attorneys, you know, unless they're brand new. Um, that would come into more into play if, knock on wood, you're successful and it's time to renegotiate your deal. Then you might want to pick an uh, attorney, right? Who has, you know, like who has a relationship with the chairman of the whole thing? What are some of the more important lessons that you've learned that you could share with us? I have two lessons that that come to mind, and they're not necessarily specific to lawyers, but they might be specific to the entertainment business, and they're probably specific to every business. One is, what I learned early on, was that there's always someone great around the corner. It might take you a minute to find them, not if you're an artist or a producer, but if you're an aspiring manager or an, you know, an early, you know, a young attorney, 
or, or a young A&R executive or you want to get into that role, where I was working with this art, the first artist I was working with and I thought, I'll never find an artist like that again, a great artist like that. Well, A, he didn't turn out to be a great artist. He turned out to be a very successful songwriter. But you know what? You never know. There's always going to be someone around the corner that, that is going to be great. So everyone has the story of lo you know, losing that great artist that they were working with. And then the other um, thing is, is that there are good guys and there are good people in this business, but everyone is out for themselves. Also, if you're an artist and you, you're working with an A&R guy and they think that he's your best friend and then all of a sudden things start, you know, the cracks in the relationship and the label's not supporting you the way you want or you're not getting what you want, at the end of the day, this A&R person's most important job is to keep his job and not necessarily to serve as you as an artist. And then the other side of the coin is if you're a manager, producer, even an attorney. I've gotten fired by clients. You know, the artists are egocentric, whatever. They're artists. And if you get fired or get, you think that this guy's your best friend and you guys are going to be together for your whole careers, it's very unlikely. And they're looking out for themselves, and you should look out for yourself as well. Alrighty, friends. Let's catch up here. We certainly had a lot of experiences thrust upon us indeed. So what did you find out? How does any of this apply to you? Only you can answer that, so um, let me just offer you some of my thoughts here. Ed Grauer shared with us some tips and ideas about the legal system and entertainment. He clarified some issues regarding management and legal representation, as well as how and when to pick an attorney. And he gave us some faith that there's still always opportunity out there for us to, to not get too despondent when we feel like we've missed something. Now, these are just some of the ideas that I got from our talks. Don't be afraid to live out loud and ask some silly questions. We all have access to masters and their people just like us. They have the same feelings and questions that we have. We can learn so much from our peers and fellow masters that I encourage you, and please stay with us, and, and we will continue to do this. So come back next time on The Real Deal On, where we will find out some of the craziest things that have happened to some of our friends. Some this is not re reality. This is The Real Deal. deal. deal.